What up, YouTube? It's your boy Nick Nugs here back again. Just wanted to take a minute and make an update to my feeding regimen for you guys. Uh, now, we're looking at all the bottles that I use here. I'm using a few new things. Got rid of a few things from before. And I thought it was time to give you guys a uh, quick little revision to it. A lot of familiar bottles in here. You guys will notice I switched out the Bud Candy and the Carbo Load, and now I'm using the uh, Cutting Edge Solution Sugary. I'm using it at 5 mils per gallon in veg and 10 mils per gallon in bloom. Uh, everything else here is exactly as it's recommended on the bottle. Uh, let's start with the veg lineup and then we'll go ahead and cover the bloom stuff real quick. Uh, so, uh, this and this only applies to plants once they're in their two gallon pots. Uh, the way that I normally do things is, you know, I take clones, I put them in beer cups once they're rooted. I, uh, what I feed them at that point kind of varies. I'm always trying out new things on my little cuttings and stuff, so, but uh, once they get into two gallon pots, everything's the same. Uh, we go 16 milliliters per gallon on the iguana juice, grow, uh, 5 mils per gallon on a silica blast. Uh, in veg, I use Sensizyme at 6 mils per gallon. Use the Cal Mag at 5. Uh, the Ancient Earth, 8 mils per gallon. The B1 at 8 mils per gallon. And like I said, I use the Sugary at 5 mils per gallon in veg. Uh, I'm also using the Orca for my beneficials. It's basically just a liquid version of Great White, and it works really great. It only takes a couple mils. I use it at two mils per gallon. Uh, beneficials are uh, definitely something I think are important. You don't have to use a whole bunch of different ones. Like I've used Piranha, Voodoo Juice. I've used Great White. Uh, I settled on Orca because I think it's the, it's the best all around product for the price. You know, and it's concentrated, so it goes a really long way. No complaints. Silica Blast, is that, that's your potassium silicate. I have used a Rhino Skin, but I like the Silica Blast better. It's got a tendency to, to bump my pH up a little bit, which is really good. Because when you're using Iguana Juice, your pH tends to, to dra you know, come in pretty low uh, before, before you go to pH all your stuff. You know, my mixture will still come up in the low fives, and then I've got to add pH up to it. So uh, the silica, the silica blast helps a little bit with that, although I'm, I still need to use pH up. Uh, the potassium silicate also really helps to, you know, strengthen stems, branches, things like that. It's a good stress reliever. Sensizyme, it's all enzymes basically works the same way that it, they do in your stomach. You know, they help to digest the food and, uh, you know, keep the, the roots nice and fresh and healthy and happy. Cow mag. If you grow in any kind of soilless medium, you probably need to use a cow mag supplement. Uh, I use cocoa and, uh, and or uh, the sunshine mix. They're both soilless. And uh, a lot of the plants that I, I grow, they, they seem to definitely need a little bit of a, a CalMag kick. So I'll use that at 5 mils in veg. Here we've got the Ancient Earth. That's your F1, or sorry, your, uh, your Fulvix and Humic Acids. It works really well. You know, definitely a big part of the uptake. The Organic B1. Really good shit. B1 is, a, is another product that's really great for uh, keeping the stress down, aids in cell division, boosts the metabolism of the plant. Uh, it's a very good product. You know, it keeps them really healthy and happy. Uh, <laughs> healthy and happy all the time. And then we got the sugary. Like I said, I use that at 5 mils in veg. Lots of carbs.
and as I've said before, I've used Bud Candy, I've used Carbo Load, liquid and powder, and uh, I think that this will basically replace all that for me. And it's only, you know, about 50 bucks a gallon. It's a deal. Works really well, has a really great smell to it. I could drink that shit probably. <laughs> Not a good idea. I don't recommend anybody does that. So that rounds off the entire veg regiment there. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, and see what the difference is for Bloom. Uh, for Bloom, basically what we're going to do is we're going to lose this. And we'll bring in the, the Bloom Iguana. And then we bring in our flower additives over here. Uh, now, all the products are still used at the same amounts. Uh, for Bloom, I'll step the Sensizyme up to 8 mils. Sorry, 8 mils per gallon, that is. I'll use the Sugary at 10 mils per gallon. And then we're going to bring in uh, basically what I like to call the periodical products. Uh, now, these are Bloom Boosters, or you know, basically your P PK boosters, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you're only going to use them in flower and only at certain times. The way that Advanced sets this up, we've got Bud Igniter, Big Bud, and Overdrive. Uh, now these are basically three stages of flower is the way that they, they do it. So week one and two, you use Bud Igniter at eight mils per gallon. What this does is really ignite the gibbelines and, and get the, uh, the onset of flower to really get started. Big Bud. Now they tell you to use this weeks two through four, which I do. On top of this for week two, I have both of them together, also eight mils per gallon. And then you got your overdrive for weeks five and six, also eight mils per gallon. Uh, this helps to basically just ripen them off and give them that nice finished look. It definitely keeps them going in week six when they seem to slow down sometimes, but this uh, this really picks them up and, and gets them to finish off nicely. Big Bud's really just for building weight, getting your Big Bud size up. You know, weeks two through four, that's that's really important. And then you got your Nirvana. Now this is an organic biocatalyst. Uh, this basically just jumps in with everything else and really puts it all to work. Another part of, you know, really getting a, uh, a healthy root system going. It also definitely adds some nice flavors and aromas to your Bud. Nirvana's a great product. I use this at eight mils per gallon, weeks three to six. Yeah, like they tell you to. Uh, now I recently found out why uh, a lot of these products aren't used in weeks one and two of flower, uh, including this and uh, I guess the B52. The only reason I know this is because I've been looking in the B52 as an alternative to the organic B1 because that's been discontinued by the manufacturer. Uh, now they say that any kind of seaweed or kelp extract can potentially slow the onset of flower, which basically you know it could slow down uh, the time before you see uh, you know your your buds getting started, and um, you know I've I've been using that B1 all the way through all the time, and I've I've never you know I've really never noticed any kind of slow flower production, but just thought I'd clue you in on that. Anyway, that's everything, guys. Nothing else to report. All feeding stops at week six, at the end of week six. I uh, definitely taper off a little bit. Uh, week six, I'll go back to using the iguana juice at 12 mils per gallon. And then week seven is just uh, some enzyme and sugar. for the first couple of uh, waterings, and then I go to straight flush. I haven't really had any problems with this, guys. I've been making little alterations to the feeding regimen as I go along, and I think I've got it pretty much simplified down to the point that I really like it now. I'm really happy with this feed regimen. This is performing just as well, if not better, than it ever did before. And if you guys remember, I used to use a lot more bottles, so. I also said before that I definitely recommend, if you can, buying gallons because you definitely save money. You know, uh, check out Amazon. There's other places online to buy products. Your local store is probably not giving you the best price. 
So that's about everything, guys. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. Thank you all for watching. See you later.